Konnichiwa minasan, Marina desu. How are you guys doing? So today I want to show you guys a few kawaii decora hair and wig looks. So aside from Lolita fashion, I also love dressing up in kawaii decora. If you don't know what that is, it's basically you're just dressed up and like decorated um, from head to toe. So here are a couple of examples that I really like, including myself. Um, so pretty much people tend to wear lots of accessories in their hair or their wigs and then really colorful um, or pastel or like rainbow and there's no rules for kawaii decor except to just look as cute as you want to be. There's no rules like how in a little fashion there's certain uh, dress shapes, silhouettes, etc. Um, so really it's all up to you. There's no required like kawaii decor Outfits, I guess you can say. There's no, there's no number one brand like how in Lolita fashion you have angelic pretty and baby stars shine bright. Um, like in Decora, there you can pretty much use like anything. Like brand doesn't really matter. Um, that's kind of one of the things that I really love about Koi Decora. Like you don't need to spend a whole ton of money to have a really really nice coordinate. Um, there are brands that tailor to Koi Decora, like Six Percent Doki Doki, but really like. You can get anything from like the dollar store or from sh thrifting if you find good stuff. Like you don't have to spend a lot of money for quite a crowd. And it's like one of the great things about it, but it's kind of, it isn't as popular as it used to be. Um, just because uh, more of the lesser tone um, fashions are more popular now. Um, but I will always love quite a crowd more than Lolita sometimes even. Um, just because that's like the first uh, J fashion that I got into and then later on I got into Lolita. So let's show you the first one! So for this look, I am using a brown wig. Originally it's a really long brown wig, but I styled it to have like buns on it. Uh, usually in Kawaii Decora, you just put as much as you possibly can. And as you can see, I have many different types of uh, pins and and ribbons and all that so really it just depends on what you feel like usually I just change up my um, I usually style a wig and then I just put on different ribbons and, and accessories that I feel like for whatever decora outfit I'm going to wear and again the buns I decorated the buns with their own pins just to add more extra I guess to it So for this next look, I am using a pink wig that I actually got from YesStyle, which is like a big Asian website um, that sells lots of different Asian clothing. Um, I got this wig like a few years ago actually, and it's still really nice, so I highly recommend you get this if you ever get the chance to. Um, so for this look, I went for a more girly, kind of princessy kind of look. Uh, but quite the coral, one of the things that you tend to see often in the coordinate is there's a theme to it. Um, so for example, someone can literally dress up like as a duck and their fashion point is like their duck accessories or something. So for here, I just went for like a more hime, um, girly kind of feel. I just put pearls in my hair because I, it kind of just adds more to the really girly look that I really like a lot. Um, and as you can tell, pink is my favorite color. What's nice about color wigs, it just adds more of a different element to your kawaii decor look. So here, as you can see, I have a pink shirt and the pink wig and all these different pink ribbons in my hair. Um, it just adds more to the whole pink princess kind of kawaii decor look. For this next look, this is a twin tail uh, wig. The two twin tails, the pigtails are actually detachable. So it kind of just gives you more room to put more pins and such. Something that you'll see a lot in Kawaii Decora is actually masks. So it's totally fine if you don't feel like putting lipstick or something and then you just put on the mask on. Again, colored wigs are totally acceptable in Kawaii Decora, whereas in other fashions such as Lolita, it's 
you don't see it as much because people tend to go for more darker or natural looking wigs if they're not using their natural hair. So really in quiet decor, you can be as colorful as you want from literally head to toe. So again, I just use my mask and as you can see, my hair is really uh, faded. It used to be a rainbow, but my roots are showing. Um, so usually in whenever I'm using my natural hair, I just put lots of ribbons in my head and then in the back of my head, I just put a bow just so it isn't so plain um, when you look behind my head. Um, so if you want to use your natural hair, I definitely recommend you put some cute buns or like some sort of cute hairstyle to just make it really, really looking cute. And even if you don't, it's totally fine too. Just, you know, um, deco it up, I guess you can say. Um, so here you can see lots of different pins on my hair. Um, this is how I usually would do it if I do go out in a decor look. But um, I tend to dye my hair for any like big planned events that I know I'll wear decor, uh, such as RuffleCon that's happening soon, so you'll see my rainbow hair again. So please feel free to use your natural hair and feel free to experiment, there's no limit. Thank you again for watching this video. If you like this video, please feel free to leave a like and if you want to see more, please feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!